everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time I wanted to have a little play and this video may be done in a couple of parts and then added like joined together afterwards I've got this paper here it's actually packaging paper and I'll just show you how it comes so it comes in a continuous sheet but it has perforation for tearing so I'll see if I can show you that so it's perforated all the way through and you can tear them into pieces so I've been using it in bits and pieces I actually use it to make my recycled paper so I don't know if you can tell but they are actually the same paper and I've decided to see if I can have a play with it. I actually have quite a few boxes of it. And it is a readily available resource for me. So I've decided to have a play with a piece and just see if I can make it a little bit sturdier. So I folded it into three, as you can see, and scored it. I didn't, I didn't score it with a scoreboard. I've just scored it with a bone folder. And I'm going to use a glue stick to glue that together and see if I can make it sturdier. I'm not quite sure how this will go. I don't know if it will be sturdy enough to use. I'm kind of hoping I can use it for tags. As I said, I've got this huge amount of this resource here. And I've decided I love the colour of it. I love that natural brown tone. It's not overly shiny. It does have a little bit of a shine, but it's not. I also have a light right in front of me, so you're getting extra shine at the moment. So I'm going to fold that over. And I do have my bone folder here, so I'm just going to press that into place. And I'm going to press from the centre out. I don't mind if there's a few wrinkles here and there. A little bit of imperfection is fine. Okay, so that's one side done and already it's feeling a little bit sturdier so then I'm going to add glue to this section see I haven't quite made all the way to the edge that clearly is my bad measuring but I can cut it to size once it's dry so I wasn't really expecting perfection especially when the paper itself is all wrinkled up Okay, so I'm going to set that aside and leave it to dry and then I will turn the video on for the next section and fingers crossed it gives me a nice reasonably sturdy substrate if not I can always fold it over this way and do the same thing so we'll just see how that dries and decide what to do for the next step okay see you soon
I'm going to have a play with some ideas that I've had. I want to create some pockets and also some tucks. So I have here... Sorry, I've just had this sitting under some books overnight. I've got here some paper. Hey, last night it was reasonably late and I wasn't feeling very tired. So I popped in here and I was looking at it, trying to decide what to do. And I decided to glue some together. Now this is actually one piece. And here's a little strip that it wasn't a complete piece, so I've torn it off and set it aside. So it's that that big, if you can see that in camera. And I folded it into three to get this size. And I've just glued it together with a glue stick. So it was a little bit tricky. I ended up scoring it into thirds. To give me a bit of a mark as to where to fold and as you can see i did get some creasing but i'm actually okay with that it it has a beautiful feel to it um so these ones at this size are three times the the thickness of the actual paper as you could see it's it is quite thin um i'm not even sure what you didn't liken it to it is probably similar to a paper bag thickness. And then I have these two here. So I was gluing away and gluing away and it was it was a little bit tedious to fold it into three. And I had the big sheets here. And so I decided to glue three large sheets together and just folded them on the perforation and then glued the next one and folded that on the perforation. And then I've doubled that over. So I folded it in half and I've glued one half of the paper and pressed them together. So that's actually six times the thickness. Now my idea behind this came from using book pages. So when I use book pages personally in my journals to create pockets and tags and such, I usually use three sheets of book paper glued together. And that gives me a reasonably strong substrate to work with. So that was where my thinking came from. And I decided I would use this paper the same. And I really love, as you all know, I love vintage. So I really love the vintage look that this has. So I'm thinking that I might cut these larger ones into three. Sorry. <laughs> can count into four and create pockets with them is what I'm thinking so as you know I'm working on two journals at the moment so I have one of these for each journal and I'm just going to try and keep you in camera So I just need to work out how much I have to play with. I think these were about seven and a half. So what's that? Three and... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. <laughs> because I can. So it doesn't have to be exact, but I want them roughly in half. And that actually cut like butter. That was not what I was expecting. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my journal, sorry, it's just over here. I did actually start inking last night, but my ink pad needed to be refreshed, so I put some reinker on it and moved on to another project which is when I started gluing these together so I'm just wondering about the size of my pocket
I'm wondering if I can get three out of this, which would be really awesome. Okay. It's only seven and a half. I really don't want to have to do the math, especially on camera. So I'm going to go about two and two and a half and two and a half is five. That's not quite two and a half there. So I might make it two and a quarter, I think. Then I'll see what I'm left with. That leaves me with five, so I can do two and a half for that. I can't remember what I did. I thought it was two and a quarter. I'll go with two and a quarter. Oh, that's not cutting quite so easily. And then just making sure I'm around the five, which I am, so about two and a half. Okay, so they can be set aside for my other journal, and then I have these to play with, and that leaves me another whole half. And I do have some other ideas for that, so that's awesome. Okay, so I haven't totally thought this through, guys. I'm going to... You can see the perforated edge there. I'm going to ink these. Just wondering which way I want facing forward. And I think I might go that way. My ink pad's nice and juicy. These have quite a flexibility about them. They almost feel like they're not quite dry. I've had them pressed between books overnight. I like the texture on the front, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So I think I might have a play with that, with this one. And then this one is slightly shorter, but I, I don't have a problem with that. They don't need to be exactly the same. I actually love the way the inking just brought out that perforated edge. Okay, I'm loving them already. So I just need to find my book paper as I said I haven't thought this through so you'll have to bear with my slightly disorganized video <laughs>
bag of scraps here. I think I might use that. Okay, let's have a play. Now this one here, I decided I wanted to Sorry if I'm wobbling the camera around. Just seeing if I can pick up a little of that creasing to showcase it. So I don't want to cover this one all the way and I'm going to tear the edges off my paper because as you know I use those for other things. Oops, I go down the length first, not that it really matters. We've had some beautiful weather here the past few days. I do have some work outside to do, but I thought I might do a little bit of this first before heading out. Okay, so I think I want to go in the corner. Sorry guys, I'm not feeling very chatty today. I've had a slow start to the morning. I woke up feeling a bit headachey this morning, so Okay. Just grabbing my glue book. I'm not ready to glue yet, but just getting it ready while I think about it. This paper is lovely and brittle. It's very delicate. It's tearing very easily. And I think I just want one section of that. Let's see if I can tear around the. There we go. My head's doing 100 miles an hour at the moment. I'm trying to remember where I've put everything. contrast there. I do have a couple of paper ruffles that I had a play with last night too. So there's this tiny one. I think I like it like that. Oops. And I just made this using tea stain paper. It was in my scrap folder. Okay. I don't want to completely cover the detail of the paper underneath. Nope. Let me 
something like this to give it a little contrast that bigger hmm it's a little bit too perfect the way it's cut this one's slightly smaller I'm still not going where wow, I love it. I really like that, but I don't. I wonder if I can. It's covering too much of the detail of the paper. I like that. Yes, 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 yes. And what else can I add? Now I just have to remember where I put them. I know I put them somewhere special. Does anybody else do that? Aha. Uh -huh. I put them in my inspiration box. Imagine that. Okay. I have these beautiful buttons. Do you remember these? So let's have a play. Now there is a little bit of depth to this. I don't know if you can see that. So they do have quite a dimension to them. But I just think they're so pretty. Or do I prefer the birdie? Isn't he cute? Let's get them out of here. I need to be able to see what I have. I actually thought I'd put these in a jar or something. That's what I was looking for. But apparently not. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I think I'm going to go with the birdie. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to glue it down. I think I want to sew around it. I don't know. I, I feel like it needs a bit of cheesecloth or something under the bird. I'm not sure. I don't even know where my cheesecloth is. Oh, my goodness. This isn't cheesecloth. It's just a piece of fabric, but... Oh, I know what I can do. So I had this little container here. Whoops. Little container here, a jar of all my cotton. So when I pull cotton out of fabric or when I'm sewing and I cut off the ends, I pop them in here. So there's all sorts of nested goodies here. Did I just give myself away? So I'm thinking I might attach them like that. And I don't know yet, I may even sew that little birdie to the, the card, to the pocket. So I really, really like that, guys. So I'm going to leave that one. I might just glue these little pieces down, but I think I may sew around them. So 
I'm not going to, <laughs> given how organised I am, I'm, I'm not going to try and attempt that on camera. Um, just grabbing my glues. And I don't need a lot of glue. As I said, I do want to add a little bit of sewing to it. Probably not so much with this one, but the other pieces I may sew. This one's already got sewing on it, so. Now I could cut to make that straight across the top and the bottom of the pocket, but I think I'll like it overhanging slightly, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I might just use a little bit of fabric glue for the fabric. Whoops, I said a little bit. <laughs> it seems to be the story of my life at the moment. I feel like a walking disaster. Oh well. And just use some of that glue. It's attaching to fabric, so I do have myself a little bit of excess there. I may as well use it. Let me just get myself some paper towel. Okay, I'm putting my pocket over there. Now I'll just tuck those bits in. I attach that little button there. I really think that's super cute. If I can bring that up. And tuck him in. I may even do it like that so he looks like he's sitting in the nest. That's super cute. Okay, that's what I might try and do. And I'm going to try and ink around this birdie. He's just a little bit vibrant. I don't know whether he'll take the ink, but that's toned him down already. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference, but it did make a difference. Actually, that's... They were the same colour, so the one I inked has a slightly browner tone to it now. It's only a touch, but I think I prefer that. Okay. Fabulous. So that's one. Just realised I haven't closed my glue. So I will do that sewing off camera. Okay, so my next pocket. Oh, here they are. I buried, I buried, I've got so much stuff going on in front of me right now. Okay. 
Well, that was fun. I'm just looking for my paper. I like that little piece of fabric too. It just fell out of my scrap container. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness. Right. Enough. Okay. So I'm just looking to see which side I like. I think I like that side. I'm going to go, I think, that way. a song stuck in my head guys and it won't leave me alone it's been there for a couple of days if I randomly break out singing well let's be honest if I ran randomly break out and singing it's never going to make it to YouTube but hmm I don't like the shape of that My bird is just up to the plastic. I like the fact that that button has, whoops, has lots of different colours on it. Just noticing the centre is kind of almost an orange though. Um, no, I think I'll go with that one. Okay, and we'll see if we can distress it just a little bit. Hoping you're focused and you can see. I'm not sure the distressing is making a huge difference on these. They seem to have some sort of a polish or something over them, which I wasn't expecting. And I think I like that. Okay. So I may just do a little bit of inking over here after all. And now I have to remember how I had them on here. So these are kind of using up 
some of the scraps. I mean, you could totally use your scrappy papers. I just grabbed new ones because it was easier than going looking for my scrap through my scrap pile. Um, and this little piece here that I've made the actually I might add a little bit more glue to that that I've made the paper um, I can't even think right now you know this thing <laughs> paper ruffle um, it was using a scrap out of my scrap pile which is awesome Part of the reason I chose to use this paper was this book paper was because, as I've mentioned before, they're children's journals that I'm working on, and this is a children's book rather than an adult book, so I decided it was probably more fitting. And I'm not going to glue this piece down because I am going to sew over it. So I'm just going to paper clip that there and pop that button there with it. And then my last one, I think I'd like to do something with some lace. Look at that one. Um, and of course, my lace is away over here. this one and just creating a little pocket on the pocket Sorry, just I'm just trying to. I don't even know if I was on camera then. Just trying to put my pin back in. Okay, and I might get my script stamp. I think and just do a little script. Oh, that's another dilemma. Where are my stamps? Um. Okay, bear with me, guys. this stamp and it's not not anything like a script stamp but I don't know why it reminds me of broken glass probably isn't meant to be that but I just sort of thought about the fact that we've got animals and nature and that sort of thing in the journal and looking out the window at the nature with the curtain so I'm gonna go with that I don't know why my head just went there but that's totally where I went okay and I'm going to use the stays on brown and I will probably stick to my plan is to stick to the brown ink throughout this journal instead of the black as much as possible again it's a preference can I get the acetate off mm. nope we'll go with it like that
Sorry if I'm bouncing you around. And I don't actually know where my stamp sheet is. So I'll just use this little piece. Hmm, maybe I need to ink all of that and go wrong ways. I'm literally just cleaning off my stamp, getting as much of the impression onto my tea stain paper as I can because I can use that for something else. I thought it was pretty good then until I got that impression. So that gives me that background paper as well now, which is fabulous. So I'll just set that to the side and I'll clean that stamp in a moment. And it goes that way. Do I want to add anything to it? I thought perhaps a sheer fabric. Now, where did I have that other sheer fabric? Oops. I need to open it out. There's something really pretty about that. And again with the looking out the window through the curtains thing. So it is covering up my paper, but sorry if I'm off camera guys. <laughs> has a really good frayed edge as you can see and this is a piece of fabric that I literally found in my local spotlight and it was in their second spin or their their scrap spin so when they get to an end of a roll they bundle up what's left and they sell it sometimes at a discounted rate sometimes at the normal rate depending on how quickly they want to move it out of the shop and I find I get some really reasonable good sized pieces of fabric for a really good price by shopping there so I'm going to sew around that and attach this as a pocket. 
So I might turn the camera off and I will take care of those and I will turn it back on to show you all. Okay, see you shortly. Bye. Hello everybody, I'm back again. I have sewn around my pocket, so I'll just show you this one's finished and I'm just going to leave it like that. Very simple, but I love it. I'm hoping you can see the stamp through the fabric. Really love it. And then these pockets here. So I've just got my glue gun onto my right. So I've actually sewn down, I'll see if I can take this off. So this is an extra piece. I've just sewn down that, those fibers. And my plan is to glue my little birdie on and then I'm going to glue that over the top and just tuck him into his nest basically. And then, sorry, it keeps going out of focus. This one here, I'm thinking I might try and sew some of these fibers into the buttonhole. So I'll do that now while my heat gun is heating up. I need to show you this actually. My hubby's been working behind the scenes and he has created me a, a glue gun stand. I don't even think, it's quite large. Um, but I did have two, sorry guys, I did have two glue guns and I wanted a stand that I could put both of them on. So as you can see there, there's room on the right to put my glues and I can stand it up. It drove me insane having to lay my glue gun down when I was using it. Um, and it just never laid right. It used to, you'd put it down this way and it would scooch this way because of the cord. So I think I am going to love that. And I may not keep the glue guns in there all the time but I'm thinking I can pop the glue guns on my shelf and have my stand down where I keep my guillotine and I can pull it out and sip my glues on there when I'm ready to use it so that's at this stage that's my plan now I want to come not going to fit I was hoping I could double those over but it's not going to allow me to get that through so plan B I didn't actually check my needle oh no my needle will go through sorry just making sure you're in focus I really wish I knew why it didn't autofocus. Mm, maybe the fibre. Oh, there we go. Just a little gentle tease it needs. And I chose this fibre because, again, it reminded me of the, the bird's so kind of fit the theme and I do want to leave myself a reasonable amount I'm just going to tie that in a bow hoping I've given myself enough to play with And it seems I'm all thumbs today, so you'll just have to bear with me, guys. <laughs> I think it's in here. I do have this little... I've got this paper clip that I have... bent out of shape for occasions just as this one. And I can thread it through, pick up my yarn and pull it 
Oh, and that didn't work very well. Let's try that again. Oh my goodness, that took some getting there, didn't it? It's alright, I'll try and edit all of my fumbling out of the video so you don't have to persevere with it. I have a lot of fluff going on with this. Hmm, I think it's too much. What do you think? I've actually lost my button behind it. So, I think I've changed my mind. I'll try a different, a different option, I think. Sometimes you have to see something before you know, you're not going to like it. This is the twine that I buy my books with. It's just a kitchen twine. I pick it up at Bargain Buys. And I really love the natural look of it. Okay. Starting to smell my glue gun, it must be ready. I'm liking this a lot more already. <laughs> Still all thumbs. Apparently bow tying isn't my strong point. Not that I know what is, but it's certainly not bow, bow tying. I want to pull those fairly short so I can tighten them off. I think that's super cute. Because this twine is wound, the fibers are wound together. Sometimes it sits nicely and other times it tends to curl on itself. And I think this one will curl a little, but there's not a lot I can do about that, but You can see here the the way it's curled is starting to come unraveled so that's just the way it's worked when I've made the bow. Okay, so I've got my glue gun here at the ready. I'm just going to give it a nice coating on the back love my stand already the fact that I could just pop it on there and not have to fight with it okay I 
I don't tend to use my glue gun in my journal making very often. I use it more for my mixed media. That is super cute. I don't think that button's going anywhere. I'm going to leave it to dry for a little bit. Now this is the one I'm not really sure about. I'm not going to put anything in the holes in the birdie. I've decided I just want to leave it plain because I'll have dimension going on with the nesting on the outside. Pushing that down. And I'm thinking, do I have it the other way? That way. So I'm thinking I'm going to put my glue over the birdie. And a little bit underneath. Okay, and that's what I've ended up with. So I'll show you. I'm quite happy with that. It's the first time I've ever done anything like that. So it was an experiment and I quite like it. And then this one here, as I said, these do have a little bit of dimension to them. So you can see there, but it's only for a couple of things. I'm not doing dimension on everything, so I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm super excited about how they've come out and I love this paper. I love the natural look. I love the fact that it's a little bit vintage and a little bit imperfect um and i'll be using more of it so that's awesome i will just show you how they look in the journal actually i had turned my camera off and went oh i meant to show you how they look on the page so there's that one I love the simplicity of that and I think with a nice decorative tag or two in there it'll be really pretty. I actually have, just a moment, um, just pulling out what I have on hand here. So you can see they're the same colour but it certainly adds another element. So even though the pocket is plain I think it will be really easy to jazz it up which I'm excited about. And I can't remember which one I've already shown you. I really love that. Okay. That's so pretty. Okay, so I just thought I'd share how they look on the page, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now. Happy crafting.